Uh, well, number one, we have Jenny McCarthy helping us out this week, and we're, we're excited. I'm very excited because I'm doing a room with her, and one of the rooms we're doing is a room for all the kids to gather and play in, and where they can learn, a learning room. And because our family has so many wonderful ties to Africa, we thought that if we could bring in African animals and kind of that African safari flavor, how cool would that be? So here we are at the Knoxville Zoo, and I just was painting with, what's her name? Edie, Edie the elephant, she painted two beautiful portraits, uh, two beautiful paintings, one with a red heart in it, the other one was very Thanksgiving cover, uh, colors because this will be a Thanksgiving episode that airs next Thanksgiving. Uh, this morning we were out there, we had Paul come in and uh, brought Edie over and uh, she did two paintings. She really did three paintings, didn't she? She did, two on canvas and one on the camera, unfortunately. Uh, luckily, it wasn't right in the middle of the lens. Sorry. <laughs> we painted our camera orange. Well, it is a Thanksgiving episode, so uh, one of the great things about animals is you don't know what they're going to do. They're like kids. Colors she works with, the, the preference depends on the day, depends on her mood. Uh, today she was really into the reds and the oranges, not so much, yeah, the brown and the, the brown and green she wasn't too big on today. Well, thus far Knoxville has been absolutely great. I know our volunteer, I know you guys have really embraced us coming here. That was awesome. Einstein, how are you? Can you say hi? Yeah. That was good. Be more polite. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. Yes. How about that? She's very fresh. Yes, she is. And she can be even more fresh. What do you say to a good looking man? Hey, baby. Hey baby, that's what I'm talking about. I can never get that from anyone. I think it's great also that we're we're ending the volunteer state. I mean, our our last our last build, my last build, is taking place in a, a state that you know it's it's claim to fame is is volunteering. So I mean that that is what our show's about. We've only built 200 and some homes over the last nine years. There are people out there, whether it's Home for Our Troops, whether it's Habitat for Humanity whether it's your local church, is just to get out there and volunteer. Just get out there and you don't need all the TV cameras. And, and if that's what we've, we've, we've taught over the last, you know, if, if people have pulled that away from us over the last nine and a half years, then, that's, then we've done our job. We really have.